Previously on By Mutant. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? You turned your back on our world. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. Nothing could stop Luke and Luke from setting the world on fire. Here it comes, the past coming to haunt the present. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Biomutant. So we just defeated Porcupuff and now we got the chance to fight our rival and the one responsible for killing the main character's parents. So we're here at the Tree of Life to meet with Out of Date so he can tell us where Lupa Lupin is. Let's proceed. Can I just... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I could jump. I think that's... Uh, I think you can die from just falling. Yeah, I don't want to try. <laughs> it's the Millennium Falcon. It's pretty dark in here. Yo, what's up? Out of Date says the time has come for you to reconcile with your past. Lupa Lupin is still staying in the camp where he was brought up. He hopes you'll find the answers you are looking for there. It's in your nature to hope for the best but prepare for the worst, but it's likely a meeting with the Lupin will end in confrontation. He'll point you in the right direction, but the rest is up to you. This part of the journey is one you'll have to do on your own. Okay, so no mounts for me? Lupa Lupin's camp has always been there, hidden deep inside the mountains. Out of date hopes you'll find your way and the answers you were looking for once you're there. He knows he said it before, but the time has come to put an end to the Lupin's reign of terror. Oh, he's just nearby. You should get over there. Come face to face with destiny. It's going to be you against the Lupin. No rules. He's happy to help. He's so near. He could have just told me way before. Wonders what your plans are for the day. You have a wild reputation. Says you'll meet again. He guesses you're back for more. Nope, gonna meet my parents' killer. Says you'll see each other later. Okay. I guess we're going to fight Tupa Lupin. Yeah, let's do that. I hope I'm strong enough to do so, though. <laughs> but we'll know. We'll find out. Let's see. This place is like one big secret that keeps unfolding. Let's get my mount here. Uh huh. This one. There we go. Let's 
just nearby. 100. Is that 190 meters? Okay. I'm gonna keep using my boomerang because it might end up being useful, like how it was so useful with Porky Puff. But I don't know, maybe a boomerang won't be effective against Lupa Lupin. But so far, the ranged weapons have been very useful for any enemy, so I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing. Lupa Lupin's camp has always been there, hidden deep inside the mountains. Yeah, you've told me that already. Is there like a recommended level for this? Okay. So I guess that's the only path going towards there. Okay. Huh. Just one bridge, okay. Let's see if we can do this. If I end up being, you know, smashed by this guy, then I guess we need to level up first. Do other quests before I face him. Tread carefully here. This is Looper Lupin's camp. I feel like I'm underpowered, but let's see. If the mount didn't throw you, you're good. Mm -hmm. Yo. I'm gonna hit you with my boomerang. Huh, no effect. Hey. Hey. Smaller than I remember. <laughs> Looper Lupin says he's been looking for you for this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. He was so little when your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother just because she was different. A hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted trapped with nowhere to run. He says your mother showed no mercy, only vengeance. He can see that you're like your mother. You would have made the same decision and taken the same action she did. You're a killer too. They orphaned him, left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Looper Lupin says he's been reliving the moment every night since then. Okay, now I kind of get why he's the bad guy. He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. He knew his time would come and he was patient. So when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. Wow, talk about playing the long game, the long con. That's why he spared you that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you to suffer for life, like he had. Why though? I mean, make my mother suffer, sure, but I had nothing to do with your mother's death. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature and he couldn't go hungry. But he's never taken a life for the sake of appetite. It's always been about survival and that our true self is being who we are. Killing my mother isn't about survival though. A deep look into nature will make you understand everything better and that natural selection eliminates and the strongest survive. 
Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny. And now, the time has come for you to accept yours. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Chill. Huh. Not so bad. I can just keep hitting you with my boomerang. That's a bit cliche at this point, you know, trying to make you sympathize with the villain so that he doesn't appear one dimensional. But I guess, you know, killing my mother for being killed or killing my mother because she killed your mother makes sense. But I don't know what that has anything to do with me, though. And besides, even though I get the eye for an eye thing for the mother thing, you killed my dad too though. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep hitting you with my boomerang. Wow, wow, what a combo. Wait, chill, chill. I feel obliged to say this line since he killed my father. Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Should just keep spamming the the boomerang. <laughs> he seems to be more aggressive a while ago in his first form. Now he's just standing there. <laughs> This seems to be quite unfair, to be honest. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. I'm just gonna keep doing what I was doing a while ago. Yeah, it seems like a dumb move to just to even try attacking him via melee when I can just keep doing this. <laughs> the boomerang is really severely overpowered or just useful in general. I think I should heal just in case. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, bad move. 
that's the only drawback I think. If I miss with the boomerang, I can't hit him immediately. Ooh. Tree of Life is on my side. He really looked bigger in the trailer and everything. I expected a tougher fight, but I suppose fighting with the boomerang was a bit unfair to begin with. <laughs> this is all about you. Whether you succeed or fail, it's on you. Huh, okay. I have offended you, father, mother. But I really am sorry for your mother. <laughs> okay, let's get that weapon. Ooh. Oh. Oh, it's my weapon from when I was a child. Yeah. I think that's going to be something that we can customize a lot, I suppose. Return to out of date. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's go. I had my revenge. I wish I could drag your body like Achilles did in Troy. So I'm expecting I'm gonna have to face the next World Eaters now. I'm assuming the next World Eaters are going to be way tougher since the Porky Puff was a bit harder than the Jumbo Puff, but the Mecton sort of like made it easier I suppose. But let's see, I mean, maybe it's just similar difficulty depending on the machine that I'm going to use. Out of Date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Nocco in the East. Out of Date says he knows you're good-hearted enough to do your best to support Nocco. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Nocco and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. Out of date says that Nocco is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Nocco keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Out of Date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Mm -hmm. Thinks it must have been hard to lose your parents. What that did to you as a kid. Understands you have other places you need to go. He guesses you're back for more. Wouldn't be surprised if you met again. Well... I need to go here every time I need to face a world eater, so you're definitely going to see me again. <laughs> okay, I'll just take a save before we go anywhere else. Okay, let's proceed with going to Noko, is it? I guess it's just going to be the same thing like with the rest of the world eaters. Get whatever the mount is and then get whatever upgrade that is required and then face the world leader. This region is known as the Canoop Stones. You can't find a harder place in the world. Canoop Stones? Hmm. Level 14 enemy. 
Nope. <laughs> I'm here for the main story. Get out of my way. Ah, the Gnote Pen. Nocco never leaves this place. She's always put the living things first. Let's see. Okay, we're in the right place. We're the same species. Nooks isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. She says she is so happy to see you again. She wonders if you remember her. She's Nocco. She let you ride her Majut when you were a kid. Nocco remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been, not where we're going. Uh-huh. Why do you need this information? You already killed him. So... Yeah, tell me who you are, I suppose. Is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Nocco remembers those days too, but she never lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Looper Lupin. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. Okay. I guess the game doesn't track whether I've killed him already. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Nocco says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. Still want revenge. She wants Looper Lupin to pay too, even though she strongly believes forgiveness is the strongest revenge. Too late. Killed him. Take that light! Really? So much for the dark! Get that light out of your eyes! It's blinding! That's how a bright mind does it! Light never lasts. Not forever. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. The choices can be overwhelming, but you have to choose, or you just stay where you are. And what kind of choice is that? So happy the world is going to live, would have been crushed to see all the gnotes die with it. Hates that you didn't care enough about the world to fight for it. Glad you saw the light with the myriad. They always bring a sparkliness to any day, and sometimes the nights do. They're just so shiny, makes her smile to think about them. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. She can't be sure. You'll have to wait and see. Okay. Find the Majut. Oh, it's nearby. Okay. Ooh, is this another mount or is this an enemy? Oh, you can get it as a mount. This looks cooler than my current mount. So I ended up circling around. I didn't see that the opening was right here. I haven't seen what happens inside. Okay. 
You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. Okay, there's a couple of enemies here. Oh, it's three of them. Oh, they're strong. Okay, time to go super wong fu. You're not dead yet. They're actually pretty strong. Come on, attack me. <laughs> okay. Is that all of them? That's interesting. Okay. The night is ending soon. So, do you need any kind of food or something, or do you just interact? Okay. Can I ride you now, or are you just gonna follow me? Oh. Okay. Okay. Just follow me. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Easier than the other mounts, I suppose. Okay, I spoke too soon. Wait, let me combo you. Oh, miss. Oh, he's fighting for me. Super Wung Fu! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Rare item. Okay, return the midget. Let me just get this resource. Looks like some solid wood scrap there. All right. Got your mount right here. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Noko is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway, at least, that's where she found some last time. One more gummies? She figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. Noko is always willing to help. Think Scoop is a little goofy from spending all that time in the goo, you know. Talks about the merchant at the Dokdu shop who charges too much acorns for a box of Ejo eat. Understands completely. Noko is always willing to help. Understands completely. Alright, I guess 
I have to look for those gummy things. Yeah, just like with the other mounts, I have to get something first before we can face the world eater. So I think this is a good place to stop this episode. And we'll continue right here in the next one. As always, if you like the content, consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon as well and maybe leave a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the game so far. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.